I always want to talk about popcorn and I like to share many facts about it. But please cooperate. We all have our opinions. We know that too much whole grains is inflammatory. But when we eat popcorn, it's a matter of portion size. When we eat popcorn, we need to make sure where the source is coming from. If it's organic popcorn, where it's not sprayed with pesticides. Is it coming from your grocery store where it's filled with salts, unhealthy oils, as well as other preservatives? There's no question that when we eat popcorn, the best way to eat it is air popped. What you put on your popcorn will poison you. Too much sodium will raise your blood pressure, affect your kidneys, make you retain water, and feel bloated all the time. But there are many ways that you can eat popcorn by just pouring a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, maybe a little avocado oil, your herbs, your spices, maybe a little cinnamon. There are so many different things that you can do to enjoy this snack to keep you satiated. That's right, the insoluble fiber will keep you full and it will keep those cravings down so you don't overeat. It will also help you lose weight. Popcorn is a great source of polyphenols, which are antioxidants that's been linked to better blood circulation and cardiovascular health. Fiber helps lower bad cholesterol. Too much cholesterol causes placking within the arteries. That can lead to clogging of our arteries, which causes heart attack as well as stroke. And that insoluble fiber will get you more regular. It will take away constipation. You won't have that extended belly that you're walking around with every day. And healthy popcorn is dairy-free, non-GMO, gluten-free, peanut-free, tree nut-free, preservative-free, no artificial flavor, and zero trans fat. And popcorn has ferulic acid. It's a very potent antioxidant that helps neutralize free radicals in the body. Free radicals cause damage to our cells, leading to chronic diseases like heart disease and cancer. And the research has shown that ferulic acid also improves blood sugar control, as well as benefiting exercise performance and muscle strength. And popcorn has p cumeric acid, another significant antioxidant with strong anti-inflammatory properties. It acts by blocking the release of pro-inflammatory chemicals like cytokines and histamine. And some initial studies suggest potential antiviral, anti-cancer, and neuroprotective capabilities. It is also known to modulate our immune system. And popcorn has zeaxanthin and lutein, two of the carotenoids which are integral to our eye health. They both are deposited in high quantities in the retina of our eyes, where they protect against oxidative damage caused by blue light. And more importantly, consumption of zeaxanthin and lutein can significantly reduce the risk of chronic eye diseases, including eye-related macular degeneration and cataracts. And popcorn has procyanidins, particularly dimeric procyanidin B2, and this has been shown to exert a variety of beneficial effects, such as inhibition of oxidative damage and inflammation. It's been studied in the context of diabetes and metabolic health, and it's found to support better insulin sensitivity and glycemic control. And here is what bothers me, is that we hear the bad rap that GMO, corn, is so bad for our body. Wait a second. We're not eating bags of popcorn. We're talking about a couple handfuls. And what about all the sugar that we're drinking in the sodas? The processed, refined foods that we're, millions and millions of people worldwide are eating. The fried foods, the trans fats, the poor saturated fats, all these toxins that we're breathing in, our deodorants, our perfumes, the soaps that we're using, the toothpaste, everything. Why are we knocking popcorn? It's a great snack. It all depends what you're putting on it. It could be a healthy snack if you're doing the right thing. And from my experience, eating healthy popcorn can help you lose weight. It's a very healthy snack. It makes you more regular. You feel so much better. It lowers bad cholesterol. It helps your arteries. It lowers the risk of heart disease, which millions of people are going to have worldwide. And it's something that most people throughout the world will enjoy. So here's what it all boils down to. Where are you getting your popcorn from? How are you preparing it? And by the way, microwave popcorn is a no-no. Lots of artificial preserves to it. 
bad fats, fattening, inflammatory, not good for you. I hope this video serves others well. Please, what's going to make this video important are your comments so we all can learn something together. I hope you enjoyed it. Please share it with your friends and family. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.